of goods and bring them to you. If I'm spotted, it won't be pretty. Many may die, and I do not want you involved. You must not break your vow. No vow stands above my duty to my friends, Ava. I could not leave you alone with them should they attack. If it comes to that, stand aside until then. I will. I did. Let's bring this back to wealth. You handled that better than I would have. That's the sort of work you did with wealth and your family of marauders. A quick robbery like this? That was the least of our work. We stole from the poor, killed the helpless, cheated the dimwit. We were lower than slugs. I shudder to remember our best days. And I weep for our worst. Let it go, then. Remember only what makes you a better man.
We have your goods. Beautiful. Beautiful. Put them there. The ledger. Of course. Happy to honor it. My goodness, such a lack of trust these days. It's a dark age, no mistake. That's it, then. We're done? Aye. You are free to walk from this place and live as Tarbin the boring bread maker for the rest of your days. But you, Eivor... If you ever get tired of the settled life, we could always use a thief with your skills. Think about it. Tarbin, are you satisfied? Yes. Yes. I cannot thank you enough, Eivor. I feared the worst when I heard my old moniker, Guthman. Hadn't heard it in years. Yes. I cannot thank you enough, Eivor. I feared the worst when I heard my old moniker, Guthman. Hadn't heard it in years. Dredges up fearful memories. I imagine. How did you fall in with that bunch? And I sought them. Will come. He looked at me. Took me in and told me who I was. Who I could be. I don't crave that belonging anymore. Among you lot, people accept me as I am. The greatest gift I ever got. Peace. Many men are calm because they've never known a storm. You weathered the storm and worked through it. That is a rare thing. That means a lot. Thank you. Kya!
think Tekla will be upset with me when she learns why she was robbed? She's a kind enough woman, and she has faced greater dangers than a few thieves. I suppose you don't build a clan of warriors without seeing your share of danger? Ha! You caught my attention, you know. The moment I first saw you, I knew there was something special about you. You have an empathy. I see it in your eyes, having witnessed its absence in so many. You see a problem and you solve it. For you know it is better to see it done no! than to let it fester. A curse of leadership, I suppose. A calling can feel like a curse, but you wear yours well. Good to be home again. That is, if I haven't robbed myself of the pleasure of calling it home. Tarbin, in spite of all, you're welcome here. And you owe us nothing but the work you love. Right. Payment in fresh loaves of bread. I can manage that. But first, one scrap of your past remains. Right. The ledger. Toss it. And purge the past. With pleasure.
coming from that old church. Is someone there? Scraps and rags. Uh, hard as stone, and the stench is ripe. You! How dare you! Crowland's throne belongs only to the one true king of Briars. If you have a problem with me, show yourself. We await the Lord of Crowland, trespasser. Leave or die. I'm not going anywhere until you cowards show your poxy faces. Insolent spirit! Kill this usurper! We will fight for this bloody kingdom to the nail! <laughs> Feel stronger already.
pretty sharp.
Best raise my hood here. So this is Hunwald's safe haven. Though we be a Mercian Shire today, tomorrow the Kingdom of Lindsay. the stranger Eivor come sit bread and ale please alewife I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here Lord he is a nobleman like me one of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We are going to see your father, Hunvold. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Hunbald, I don't know your friend here, and not knowing him, I don't trust him. I'm his voice of reason, Eivor. And I've told him a thousand times... It's too dangerous for him in Lincolnshire. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk? Ah, yes, to Lincoln! Away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard! A single Dane will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here he'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in! Have you ever seen a blood eagle, my Saxon friends? A what? A blood eagle. A raw, magnificent bird I'll tear from your guts. First, I crush your ribs. Then I pull out your lungs and stretch them into wings, so you can fly to your heaven as fast as possible. Jesus fucking Eden. You canny fox. That was incredible. Like watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then we shall set forth in search of adventures new. You travel with a marked man at your side. He's with me. He'll be fine. 
If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions I'd warn that stupid boy, I'd be the most written about man in history. Alfgar, the Burrish Nag of Lincolnshire. Told Hunmold to stay near. Where did he wander off to? <laughs> Hunwald is in trouble. Leave him be! Jesus! He's brought a bloody cane! Oh, I have been struck down! Oh. Ruined within an inch of my life! But I will oh. survive! Continue as you may for, and if I should explode, avenge me. Over there is paying us. We watch each other's back. Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Bottlestone will be remembered for years to come! Alfgar, we have won our first great victory! Humboldt, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me! The son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive to believe my status as a noble? Some sway over the chairals and serfs of this shire. What cause have any to dishonor me? No! Oh. Look! Boats there! We could sail the waters to Lincoln, sink the ships of any enemies in our way. What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to screaming. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse pucky! Mercian soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river Wash, and to Start anew elsewhere, or face death in Lincolnshire. Some nonsense about me praying for his death, hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Humboldt. I can't help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never. No, I suspect the order for my exile came from on high. Perhaps one of Burgred's final orders before he was deposed. That would surprise me. Burgred was battling Danes until the end. He had bigger things to worry over. Perhaps you're right, he's too contained. It must have been King Alfred, then. King Alfred of Wessex? That's another kingdom entirely. Yes, but Alfred has a fearful hatred of the Danes. He must have heard that I am courting one. A beauty who knows no equal. Your Dane lady love. Right. Here's Lincoln, the city of my birth, the cauldron of my present sorrows. If they see me, this will get messy. Mercian guards everywhere. Follow me. Right behind you, Shadow Walker. My heart beats like the drums of your dragon. Boat.
This town was your home? It was, and should still be. Oh, to see it now fills my eyes with tears. Save weeping for prayers. We're not inside yet. One day I won't have to skulk around this town with my face hidden. I will walk proudly among the people I love. How was your father the last time you saw him? He was quite poorly. But he has the heart of a lion and the Holy Spirit itself within him. A bout of illness would never bring him low. Did he think highly of you? Oh yes, yes indeed. The thanes and clergy of Lincolnshire are not fond of me, but they do not yet There's know me. Well. The air. I fear not great crowds will gather soon. Aye, and foul deeds are brewing. The, horses the people of Lincoln are not welcoming to Danes. It's troubling, I know. Your folk are strong, hardy, noble. Creatures straight out of stories and tales. We are also a living people, Hunwald. More than a story. We're real. I have barely enough silver to buy peat from those bandit swimmers. They hoard everything. My dear Reagan hair, body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Who took the Elderman? Was it soldiers, or men of God? There were men with swords, and those of the cloth. And a healer, too. One who had oft been a guest in this house. Galwina. One of the sisters my father put great faith in. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there? At the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. I wish you the best of luck in your endeavors, Dave. Who was that fellow? Reagan hair? He's an old fixture of my family's household. Loyal to the end. He helps run the place. And he's known me since I was but a little lordly. A simple fellow, but worth every inch of his soul. No one has heard from the Elderman in...
Stretch your wings, Sunan. <gasps> Dominus autum absolventum <clears throat> auto liquidia domino. Signatra unis pia et pi sunt simba natura. Sed ic quod ec. Lincoln seems a good place to trade. Does he? The market is flush with goods. Yes, it must be. Growing up, we never wanted for anything in my father's home. God, the Bread and poultry and field fruits of all manner. Meet your fate! <laughs> We never wanted for anything in my father's home. Bread and poultry and field fruits of all manner. I suppose this is where our servants purchased them. Lincoln's boon was at. Archer! Hereverith! Tell Lord Hunbeor his son has returned! My lord, you're well. Lord Hunward, we had no news of your return. You might have sent a messenger and spared us the suspense. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the north, bedding a Dane on some squalid farm. I have no patience for insult and rumor. We have come to speak with Lord Hunbior, that is all. Lord Hunbior has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed. What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Hunwald. In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against the Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwald. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. Hunwald has seen the point of a dagger more than once this week. I'm only here to protect him. Your father was at my hospice for some days, and very well treated. But he left in secret. That's all we know. In secret? That's odd. He's not one to scurry about in the dark. I'm sorry, Hunwald. We have searched high and low for him, but to no avail. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scaring thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I'll have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. Oh, oh, oh. 